while on the one hand it's shocking that FBI agents executed a search warrant on a former president's home, it's not particularly surprising. Let's take a trip down memory lane. Remember these blurry cell phone photos? They were taken less than one month into Donald Trump's presidency by a Mar-a-Lago club visitor. You can see Trump sitting next to the Japanese leader, Shinzo Abe. In another, someone is shining a light over Shinzo Abe's shoulder onto what appears to be some documents. We soon learned that Trump had turned his Florida club's terrace into a sort of a situation room. The two leaders were reacting in real time to North Korea launching a ballistic missile in the middle of a crowded country club. Then there was this meeting inside the Oval Office with Trump hosting and being chummy with Russia's foreign minister and the Russian ambassador. This is the meeting where Trump barred U.S. press but allowed Russian photographers to bring equipment inside the Oval Office, prompting a flurry of security concerns. But there's more. We soon learned that Trump had divulged highly classified information to the Russian officials, information that was so sensitive that it was not even shared with U.S. allies. Then there's Trump's meetings with Putin, where in one instance, Trump seized the notes from his interpreter while also instructing the interpreter not to discuss what transpired during the meeting with anyone. This is the same president that revealed the sensitive information of the locations of two nuclear submarines to the authoritarian leader of the Philippines and tweeted out a high-resolution satellite photo of what is thought to be a classified image of a fire at a rocket launch site in Iran. He ignored repeated calls from aides to stop using his personal cell phone, despite reporting that foreign spies would listen in from time to time. We first heard reports that Trump had a habit of ripping up notes in 2018. And this was not a one-off. He did this, including ripping up sensitive memos, despite repeated warnings from two chiefs of staff and the White House counsel. Trump did this so often that staffers put the ripped up papers into burn bags to destroy them. He also, reportedly, had a habit of flushing documents down the toilet. All of those instances took place while Trump was president. Now it's an entirely different matter to have a former office holder potentially compromising national security material. Given that, it's perhaps not really all that surprising that the Justice Department has ramped up its investigation into Donald Trump's removal of documents from the White House by taking the aggressive action of executing a search warrant on the former president's home. 